Time to go back to me own cabins and see what the fucking can do there. After the Don't care. Customize armor. Let's see, helmet. Ow. This could kind of work. Ow. Ow, too. Ow. I don't like this one. I don't know. This one could work, though. Ah, this reminds me of fucking Robocop, dude. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I like this one, to be honest. Let's see. What kind of chests do we have here? The fuck? Why though? Like, uh, fucking TV sometimes decides to turn itself off on its own. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like all the nipples on it. Uh, this one could work. I'll play this one. What the fuck? There's only one shoulder. Uh, okay, so it's either this one. Uh, big beefy shoulders. Like that. Like that a lot. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot, actually. What kind of legs do we have? In what the, which one looks does my ass look the best? Uh, dude, where the fuck is it purple? Hmm, purple's a bit more radiant here. Uh... There you go, I think that might be better. I don't know. To be honest, that mask kind of reminds me of like Spider-Man and Home, uh, Far From Home, or the fucking uh, monkey spider, or whatever the fuck he was. Spider monkey or whatever, monkey man. Spunky. Come on, I need to go back to Ilium. 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 That was, by the way, this is gonna take a while. These last two videos probably have been mostly nothing, but whatever, you know. We're just having some fun. We're just chillaxing in the game. Ali Garrus. Up, up, up. Come back here. Oh, yes, I'm equipped, my friends. At least me and Tally won't kiss while I'm wearing it. Do you have anything flashier? Um. I want something that says, I own this room. I own you. By the stars, your skin looks amazing. You're not using biotics to touch things up, are you? Actually, I I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. What? Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. What the fuck? Good to know. I'll be careful. Or you could kill him. You know, legally, in self-defense. 
I'd make a really good witness. Failing that, I'm hooking up security cameras now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Interesting. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. All right. Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. I have arrived. Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. I have arrived. So then he says, Oh, it's a... You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. What? Mm -hmm. Get the I'll fuck... I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh-huh. No fucking way. I wanna see how far I'll go. You again. <laughs> I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard? Hi. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. Oh, uh, <sighs> and then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. I think he's mentally so damaged. Alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. <sighs> For crying out loud. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. All right. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Uh, don't you get it? You are a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Now how did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my <laughs> wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. Yeah, I don't think you actually have a fucking wife. So, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? Dad. You're a hero. I am. You saved the galaxy and what showed is this everyone war business? what humanity could do. And then you die. But I'm back. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. And so we have started a quest for our good old friend, Conrad. You deserve somebody who respects you. <sighs> somebody who's going to Where is this fucking gun store? I think I'm just going to stop bleeding for a while. I need this weapon. Yeah, I think I would do that too, actually, if I was, uh, if fate breaks up with me. Uh, where the fuck do I have to go? Talk to the whip. I oh, saw him and find out what weapons merchant. What the fuck am I supposed to find a fucking weapons merchant? It's always the same thing. Yeah, you better stop talking, my legendary man, Shepard. 
I like how people are like, Shepard, is that you? It's like... If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural simulators are compatible with both mine tubes and a solid... Nah, I think it will be downstairs, actually. Like, there's a fucking money sign down there. Uh, it could be the uh, the fucking Baria Frontiers, though. Oh god, that's so fucking far away. Why? Why is that so far away? No Sastra oh. has recently received. The R's office seems down there. Visitor in the form of a rare Justicar calling herself Samara. Nope. Samara denied our request for an interview, leaving us in the dark. <coughs> what brought a Justicar to the fringes of the sorry space? Nevertheless, Ilium News is. Let's see what we will find over here. I'll try to do this quest. Listen, I know the data is vital to the crew. Don't have time for this shit. I'll explore this later. Who is the fucking weapons merchant that I actually need? Where am I? Nope. Doesn't seem like it yet. I need to continue on. Open faster, damn you. Damn it, I went to me. The goods coming in from the terminus systems are uh, uh, it seems like maybe this way. I don't know. Some of it no, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to All right, you. Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. All right. Some buy all that shit. Um, who the fuck do I have to talk to then? Where's this weapons merchant? What the fuck? Oh, tell me. Why would you fucking tell me? I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. No weapons! Sure anyway, weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. You, now. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. How do I do, how do I make this work? How do I make this one work? Sure. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. <laughs> Here, I'll set you up for a discount. I knew it! This is why I didn't do anything. Fucking knew a discount was possible. This should come in handy. Oh, motherfucker, I'm broke. Wait, what? Where did my money go? I had so much. And now it's all gone. I don't even have it anymore, you stupid fucks. Oh my god, are you For example, kidding me? You know that I'm broke. No, how am I broke? How is that There's possible? A yeah, for so for I have nothing. I have no money. I am broke, dude. I need money now. I need like 120,000 big ones. I was like swimming in cash. I have started this game with 600 grand, dude. Where did my money go? I even waited for the discount and still nothing. All right. <sighs> By the way, I'll end it with this shit. Uh, I don't know, I'll ex- Oh, I would like all those credits, please. I would like to- I would like to hire out my service. It will cost as much as those two fucking things from the store cost. Alright, I will just kill someone for you. Anyone. I don't care. Damn it, this is just a misunderstanding! Oh, is it now? Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled! In I was 8K. told that you had agreed to sell! 
Take her away before I have my bartender throw her out. Cool. Wonderful. Wonderful. Justice. Absolute justice. You. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. She wasn't a cop. She was using you to try to take over this bar. What? No. But but she said. Up. But she was pretty and blue. <laughs> she wanted to get coffee, and she smiled when she said coffee. I'm pretty sure it was a euphemism. I screwed this up, didn't I? I screw everything up. Damn it! I'm so stupid. Who was I to think I could do what you do? Ah, which one? You did fine. Thanks for holding the reins while I was gone. It's good to know that someone cared. Really? Yeah. Really. You did a great job, Conrad. Now please go home. Let me take it from here. I'm back, bitch. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. And it's really good to have you back. And no one was hurt that day. No one was hurt. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? The fuck? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. Cool. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your Jesus Christ, no, not the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? Nah. They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. They fucking killed each you other. Said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah. When he was young, love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. I'm more of a tits a girl, man myself. But me about landing on this poison-filled world and mine doesn't a have one. queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth though. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that Asari wisdom got the destiny ascension blown to hell and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Thanks for telling me about that. There we That's go. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? No, Just do not around. fucking call me babe. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the red bowls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramped. I got both of them with me. That's funny. 
Alrighty then, done. So now I gotta save to end the fucking recording session because I'm actually done. So, thank you all so very much for watching. When we come back next time, we will explore Ilium and see what the fuck is going on here. But with that being said, if you guys have enjoyed and if you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new up to the dance already. Turn on notifications. And as always, stay for more. Bye.